Hi, I'm Stefano Caposeco, Director of Product Marketing at Westinghouse Lighting. Let's talk about 8-foot TLED lamps. The easiest way to enjoy all the benefits of an LED bulb to replace a fluorescent is to use direct install LED bulbs. Since direct install TLED lamps utilize a fluorescent ballast, please make sure they're compatible with each other. One of the primary differences between a 4-foot fluorescent fixture and an 8-foot fluorescent fixtures are the tombstones. On the 8-foot fluorescents, the tombstones come in a set and one is a plunger type and the other one is stationary. Even when installing direct install bulbs, you always want to make sure that the tombstones in the fixture are in good condition. If they're not, you need to replace them. This requires knowledge of fluorescent lighting fixtures and electrical systems. Please be sure to follow the detailed instruction sheets which are included with the TLED lamps and can also be found on our website, westinghouselighting.com. First thing we want to do is to make sure that the power is off to the fixture. Next, we want to remove the fluorescent bulb and then we're ready to install the TLED bulb. You also want to make sure that the heat sink is always facing towards the fixture. We turn the power on and it's done. Now we want to talk about converting a fluorescent fixture into a ballast bypass TLED fixture. It's more complicated. Electrical contractor is recommended to perform this job. As always, you want to make sure that the power is cut off to the fixture. Next, you want to remove the ballast cover. What the electrician would do is cut the wires to the ballast and take the incoming power, 120 volt or 277 volts, directly into the tombstones. The big difference between a four foot TLED conversion and an eight foot TLED conversion is that on the four foot, the tombstones are required to be non-shunted and on the eight foot, that is not a requirement since the tombstones are single pin. We want to cut the ballast output wires. Next, we want to remove the ballast. You want to make sure that the tombstones are in good condition, that there's no overheating, otherwise you should replace them. One thing to check for is that the plunger is smooth that the wires make good contact, there's no breakage or signs of overheating. The incoming power will go directly to the tombstones. Unlike the four foot, where you only power one end, on the eight foot, the power goes to both ends. We want to replace the covers. One last important part of the retrofit is to make sure to install this label where it's visible during relamping to make sure the installer knows that anytime they replace the bulbs, you can no longer use fluorescent bulbs in this fixture. The ballast is gone completely. You can only replace with ballast bypass bulbs. Now we want to install the bulb. Be sure to place the heat sink towards the fixture. We turn the power on and it's done. I hope this information was useful. Visit our website, westinghouselighting.com to learn more about our full line of LEDs.